Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its 360 degree backup camera, parking sensors, and its heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look just at the front grill, you're going to see your front facing camera for the 360 degree backup camera along with your parking sensors. Over on the side you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have the integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. Down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for the 360 degree backup camera. Taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot warning indicator. With that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side, you have your automatic high beams, window wiper de-icer, View for the 360 degree backup camera, heated steering wheel, and power lift gate release. Seat memory controls along with your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, Bluetooth connectivity. You have your voice recognition with your volume control, lane departure alert, cruise control mode select, and seek function. Now, if we take a closer look, you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a closer look just at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which includes your fuel economy distance to empty. You can also go through and take a look at your lane departure alert, compass, as well as your audio, trip info. All-wheel drive, settings menu with the lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot warning on and off, parking sensors on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features, and you'll finish with your messages menu. Now, it has an exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock. <clears throat> Taking a closer look just at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on there. So if you go inside the menu screen, you have your destination, audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now it does have that premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio. Inside the apps menu, this is part of the Intune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone you can use such apps as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone, or I should say your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores just depending on what your preferences are. It is compatible with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto and you do have your hazard lights. Taking a closer look down below, you do have the dual zone climate control settings, traction control on and off, heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot or how cool you'd like it, power outlet, USB, and you have your wireless charging pad. So once you have it turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. As you can see, you have your eco normal and sport mode with your mud, sand, rock, and dirt features, snow mode, and downhill assist control. As you can see, when you turn the dial, it actually changed color. And then when you push the button in the center, it'll go back to normal mode. It's mounted to an automatic transmission. If you take a closer look just at the auto dimming rear view mirror, you have your integrated garage door open controls and your settings menu. The reason why you have a settings menu, if you take a look in the back mirror there, there's a little arch there, and that's your camera. So when you're driving down the road and you need to see exactly how much room is behind you, it definitely comes in handy. So if you're driving forward, it it comes in handy in that perspective whereas you have your backup camera for when you're backing up and then when if you want to actually just go back to the mirror just push on that piece down at the bottom there and it'll go back up top you have your SOS safety connect with your heated seat control or sorry your open and closed tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof with the SOS safety connect in the event that you're in a collision you're unable to respond emergency services will be sent out to you right away just to make sure you're okay now, when we take a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have the 360 degree view as well as a couple of other additional views as well, depending on what suits your preferences. And you have those nice guiding lines in there that make things a little bit easier for you when you're backing into a stall. Now, when you hit that view button, 
when you're in drive, it'll actually show you a nice front end view of the vehicle, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially when you're in underground parking. And then the auto button that I just hit, anything under 10 kilometers an hour will actually stay on that screen. Anything after that will go back to the previous screen you were on. When you hit the view button when you're in park, it'll show you a nice 360 degree view and a more aerial view for yourself as well. And as you can see, you can also pause it just in case you do see the obstruction that's in your way. And if you want, you can also change the color depending on what you actually purchased. So if you got a black one, you can change the color to the actual color you got it at or to whatever suits your preferences. And then when you're all finished up, just hit the view button once more and it will go back to the previous screen you were on. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you have your backup camera just located on the left hand side and the rear hatch release located just underneath the Toyota emblem. Now the other nice thing is that you have the kick assist feature so if you just kick underneath the tailgate like I just did, it'll actually open up the tailgate for you automatically. Closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have the carb cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. 60-40 split for the rear seat, so in the event that you need the additional space, it's available to you. Underneath the floor, you're going to find your spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit, so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. If you want, you can flip this piece over just in case the cargo that you're hauling is a little bit rougher on the carpet side. You can also lower it down a little bit farther just in case you do need the additional space. And if we take a closer look up top, you do have the power tailgate, but it's also readjustable. So if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds to the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. So if you just kick underneath the tailgate there, or I should say the bumper, it'll close the tailgate for you automatically, making things a little bit easier for you, especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids' sports bags. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.